Notice anything new? There have been some changes to this aisle, and more are coming, but I'm here to show you what these changes are and why they're happening at all. Congress has passed new regulations regarding energy efficiency standards for general purpose light bulbs. These new laws are designed to lower energy usage while maintaining or raising light output, a ratio known as lumens per watt, to conserve overall energy use in the U.S. Consumers used to shop under the impression that watts were the most important factor when choosing bulbs. Now, we need to shift their focus to lumens. Watts tell how much energy is used. Lumens is the measure of brightness. While some bulbs are exempt from these laws for various reasons, others we've been using for many years have been or will be phased out and replaced with better, more efficient alternatives. I'm here to help you understand these changes and the alternatives. Then, you can help customers make informed decisions when they need new, better light bulbs. The new legislation calls for a 28% efficiency improvement on general purpose incandescent bulbs. This elimination of bulbs has already started and will be complete by the end of 2014. Manufacturers and stores are allowed to sell out their stock on all affected bulbs, but no new bulbs may be produced or imported once the regulations take effect. The standard medium base A19 bulb in 40 watt, 60 watt, 75 watt, and 100 watt is one of the general service incandescent bulbs affected by the new legislation. But there are some exemptions among this style. Bulbs below 40 watts or higher than 150 watts are exempt. There are also many special use bulbs that are exempt, including bug lights, plant lights, and party lights, among others. However, there are great alternatives on the market to replace your energy inefficient incandescent bulbs. Among them are lines of GE and West Point bulbs, bringing the best mix of light products. Halogen bulbs, in addition to being much more energy efficient, are brighter and live longer than incandescent bulbs, and they deliver crisp, white, fully dimmable light. Compact fluorescent bulbs are more efficient still. They're just as bright as halogen or incandescent bulbs, come in a wide array of colors, and live a very long life. LEDs have one of the best lumens per watt ratio of any bulb on the market. They live the longest by far and use very little energy. They also produce very little heat compared to incandescent bulbs. In addition to being an alternative to general purpose usage, LEDs come in many different shapes and can be replacements for track, recessed, and floodlights. LEDs can be dimmable and, due to their long life, are great for hard-to-reach places. But general-purpose incandescent bulbs are not the only type affected by the new energy laws. Some linear fluorescent bulbs are also affected by the new legislation. Most 4-foot and 8-foot T12 bulbs and U-shaped T12 bulbs have been eliminated effective July 2012 and replaced by compliant bulbs. But like the general-purpose incandescent bulbs, there are some exemptions in this category for specialty bulbs, such as rough service or plant lights. In addition, there are exemptions for T12 fluorescents that have a color rendering index, or CRI, of 87 or better. CRI is a measure of a light source's ability to show an object's color realistically or naturally. The higher the number, the more true the color appears. Many T12s have already been eliminated and replaced by bulbs with the high CRI. New energy efficient legislation affects halogen PARs or parabolic aluminized reflector as well. The efficiency laws require PARs to be 30% more efficient. This affects PAR 20s, PAR 30s, and PAR 38s over 40 watts. New halogen PARs meet these stringent efficiency standards. They require the use of a silver reflector or a high efficiency halogen capsule or both, in order to meet the lumens per watt standards. These changes can mean anywhere from a 30% to 49% increase in efficiency. That's a significant savings to both personal finances and energy use. So now, enlightened with a newfound wealth of knowledge, let's do a little comparison recap. Our old incandescent bulbs were fine. They produced a good amount of lumens and had a variety of colors, but they were severely energy deficient and actually produced a fair amount of heat. That's why certain types are being phased out. Their replacements do all the same things, except better. And many can be found in the same shapes as the disappearing incandescents. Halogen bulbs have very good light output. They live long, and they're great at conserving energy. 
They're also fully dimmable and deliver crisp white light. Compact fluorescent bulbs have a good lumen rating and a much longer lifespan than halogen bulbs. They're also much more energy efficient, offer a variety of colors, and some are dimmable. LEDs have the longest life by far, are very energy efficient, and can be dimmable. For linear fluorescent bulbs, the legislation is the same. Higher lumens per watt, or the bulb must have a color rendering index, or CRI, of 87 or better. Halogen PARs must also meet the new energy efficiency standards. Switching to silver reflectors or high efficiency capsules, or both, will fit these bulbs happily into the right lumens per watt range. So, how are customers supposed to remember all this stuff? The answer is, they don't need to. All the packaging is changed to make it easier for consumers to find replacements. Bulb replacement information, lumens, wattage, energy cost, and savings is clearly displayed on the front of the packaging, so customers can easily find the replacement bulbs they need. This makes it easier for customers to understand wattage, or energy used, compared to lumens and actual light output. It also helps customers find the appropriate replacement for the inefficient bulbs that are no longer available. The back of each package has a light appearance scale and shows the color of light the bulb provides. And similar to nutrition facts found on food packaging, the new FTC lighting facts label makes it easier to compare and choose the right bulbs. Consumers shop based upon the socket that they're trying to fill, so bulbs are merchandised by application. This makes it easier for customers to see all their options and find the bulb they need. For example, if your customer is looking for a floodlight, all flood bulbs will be merchandised together, regardless of the technology. So what happens when inventory runs out and shelves start to fill up with the new energy efficient bulbs? Customers are gonna have lots of questions. This is a great opportunity for you to help them find the right replacement and capture additional business. Consumers never had to think twice about light bulb purchases before now. They're faced with options and alternatives, but you can provide solutions they won't be able to get most other places. Here's some things to think about when talking to customers about alternatives, given what you now know about the differences in bulb types. Ask customers what they're using the bulb for. What's the application? Is it a lamp, a ceiling fixture? This will determine what kind of bulb they're looking for, from a linear tube to a standard A-type bulb. How bright do they need the bulb to be? Now you can estimate the lumens. Do they want a warmer, softer light or a cooler light? This is the light's temperature rating and can be found on the packaging on the light appearance scale. This might be a good time to explain to customers the new energy efficiency regulations. You can show them how much they'll save in electricity and energy costs when compared to the old incandescent bulbs. So, imagine you're a customer coming into this aisle looking for a 100 watt incandescent bulb, but it's not there. Now you know what to do. I'm trying to find a replacement for this bulb, but I can't find a 100 watt bulb like this one. Well, I'd be happy to help you with that. What did you use this bulb for? It was in a reading lamp by the sofa. Okay, so that means you're probably looking for a light with several color options that's also dimmable. One of our compact fluorescents would be a great choice. Well, as long as it's 100 watts, like this one. Watts is actually the amount of energy a bulb uses, whereas lumens is a measurement of light. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> that means, in this case, a bulb like this compact fluorescent uses much less energy, or watts, but is just as bright, meaning it has the same number of lumens. Therefore, it's much more energy efficient. Well, what happened to the bulbs that I used to buy, like this one? <laughs> well, Congress actually passed legislation to cut down on energy use in the U.S., so by the end of 2014, lots of our incandescent bulbs like this one will be gone. These new ones cost more. I'm used to paying less than a dollar for my incandescents, in some cases. Well, there's good news. The new ones are more efficient and therefore save us money in the long run by using less energy and putting out the same amount of light. These new bulbs also last longer, so you won't need to replace them as often as you did in the past. Well, how do I know what to buy? The new packaging, actually, it tells you everything. See here? Just like nutrition facts on food, it tells you everything you need to know about the bulb, from the brightness to the lifespan to the estimated yearly cost. Oh, well, I'm sold on these. What about other kind of bulbs? Yeah, several kinds of bulbs are affected by the legislation in one way or another, but you can always just bring it in and any of your local hardwareians will be happy to answer your questions. Incandescents are gone, but good energy efficient light isn't. 
The alternatives are nothing but better in every way. And now you know. Not only is this aisle changing, energy and the way we use it is changing. By phasing out incandescent bulbs, it's estimated that consumers will save $40 billion in energy over the next 20 years. So change is a pretty good thing. True value. Start right, start here.